While Russia's MiG-35 is certainly the more capable airframe, the MiG-29 is no lightweight either. But how did Iran, in the face of sanctions, acquire MiG-29? The collapse of the Soviet Union was like the Wild West for arms markets. MiG-29. The Soviet Union's first fourth-generation fighter the MiG-29 was faster than what NATO countries had, though limited by a somewhat short range. According to an American pilot who was able to fly Polish MiG-29s, the MiG-29 was highly maneuverable when needed, but seemed to use a lot of fuel to make that happen. Although an older airframe and perhaps lacking compared to more modern airframes, the MiG-29 is nonetheless still capable and that's why Iran bought it. Aborted Purchase in 1997, the United States bought 21 MiG-29 fighter jets from Moldova in an effort to keep the capable airframes out of Iranian hands. 14 of the MiG-29 that the United States bought were later model MiG-29CS, which were at the time the most advanced variant available. The purchase was nothing unusual for the time, as the United States had been in the market for high-tech Russian tidbits after the fall of the Soviet Union. Cash-strapped Moldova had no use for the high-tech fighters and apparently gladly sold them to the United States. The arms purchase was part of the U.S. Cooperative Threat Reduction Program, a three-year-old $380 million effort to move to safety many of the remnants of the Soviet arsenal and was intended to prevent Iran from gaining an edge over its regional adversaries. Under the U.S. Cooperative Threat Reduction Program, the United States bought up a large number of technologies it wanted to keep out of the hands of terrorists, adversaries, or rogue states like North Korea or Iran. Perhaps the most notable success of the program was the fascinating story of Project Sapphire, in which teams from the United States clandestinely flew to Kazakhstan to remove large quantities of uranium that had been misplaced and forgotten after the Soviet collapse. Perhaps it was not enough. The New York Times reported in 1992 that Iran had acquired an enormous arms package from a number of Eastern European countries, as well as China and North Korea. The Saudi and French officials, who spoke on condition of anonymity, said Iran spent or committed $3.2 billion on arms in 1988 and 1989, primarily to the former Soviet Union for MiG fighters and tanks. In the heady days after the Soviet collapse, the purchase came often. In 1990 and 1991, these officials say, Iran spent or pledged $4 billion more to buy tanks, missiles and fighter jets. Dot 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 these weapons most of which have been acquired include 24 MiG-31s, 24 MiG-27s, 68 MiG-29s, 12 Tupolev 22M bombers and several radar-detecting Ilyushin 76s, largely bought from the former Soviet Union and from Russia. Although Iran's airframes are piously old and incredibly overworked, they are still potent in some scenarios. American efforts may have been in vain after all. The Iranian Army Air Force's F-4 and MiG-29 fighter jets destroyed ground and air targets by optimized homemade missiles on the second day of massive wargums, codenamed Ektadar Havai Fadei in Haram e Velayat, in central Iran on Tuesday. On the second day of the main and operational phase of the drills, the F-4 bomber fighters fired pinpointing, smart and electro-optic guided Yasin missiles at marked targets and destroyed them successfully, spokesman of the drills Brigadier General Farhid Ghadarzi said. Also, MiG-29 planes fired optimized air-to-air -air missiles, intercepting and destroying missiles fired by the hypothetical enemy's aircraft successfully, he added. 
General Gadarzi also said that Iran's homemade Karar bomber drones fired 500-pound bombs at ground targets, destroying them completely. On the first day of the massive drills on Monday, Iran's Su-24 fighter jets had successfully destroyed hypothetical enemy targets by firing 500 kg smart missiles. The strategic Sukhoi-24 bomber fighters of the Iranian Air Force which carried different types of homemade optimized and pinpointing 500 kg missiles, destroyed the ground targets, including the radars of hypothetical enemy, during the wargams, General Gadarzi said on Monday. In this stage, also the F-14 and MiG-29 fighters successfully conducted aerial combat operations in combat conditions in warlike battle scenes he added. Also, on Monday, the RF-4 planes of the Iranian Army Air Force carried out reconnaissance operations and conducted imaging over the Wargams zone during the massive drills underway in the central parts of Iran.